Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. With the first FIFA 22 Silver Star being released last Wednesday, that means we get the Silver Lounge playlist. Finally, I have somewhere where I can showcase my favourite silver cards. And a certain Silver Star I'm talking about is none other than Sulemana, the Ghanaian excellence playing in the League One. So I thought maybe it's about time I show you guys my insane African nation silver team. And one thing as well, I just noticed my camera is too zoomed in but I'm rocking. The Kaiser Chiefs jersey guys, so let's get it. The ultimate African silver team, let's go. So here is my ultimate African silver team. You're probably thinking, Morsi, that's just a couple of Ghanaian boys and a full team of Nigerian lads. It's essentially it. However, we're adding a bit of spice to this guys. This is the 100 chemistry version of the African team. However, without loyalty, you can get a cheeky 93 version and get yourself in this baller. Asan Cisse, one of the most recent silver team of the weeks we've gotten. Not a silver star. You do have to pick this man up on the market. As it stands, silver team of the week still have that premium. 26,000 coins is what I spent on him. However, the stats look insane. He is a striker, not a centre midfielder. I have converted this position purely for chemistry. But the man's got pace, fantastic shooting for a silver, brilliant dribbling for a man who's six foot two, and also that physicality side to his game. I'm insanely excited to try this man out today, as well as the other boys in this team. We've got Suleiman. The most recent Silver Star, Silver Star number one. I've tried, I tried this guy for six games, guys, and he is absolutely cracked out. You would have seen the player be on my channel. Absolute baller. They are starting off with a bang. This literally fills me with so much hope going forward in this promo. Fingers crossed we see some tournaments based around silver cards as well this year. That is definitely something I want to see. But to get this man in the team, we need a strong link for the 4-5-1. And unfortunately, that means an overpriced silver common card. It is what it is, guys. It happened last year with the likes of Okafor. You have to get a fullback or Silas when he got his uh, silver star. A fullback is not quite insane, but super expensive. And that is Gideon Mensa, 4.4k. He is purely here for that strong link into Sulemana. In all honesty, he's not horrific. He could have been a lot worse. He's got a little bit of pace and some decent stats across the board, but I would have preferred a more solid option there. So heading over to the goalkeeper, we got Daniel Akpaya. I've tried this man so many times last year. I believe he had a 73 card, a silver rare card in FIFA 21. I linked him up so many times to Nigerian centre-backs, guys. Ajayi, for example. And this man still repping. The Kaiser Chiefs boys love this stuff. Daniel Akpaye is a, a respectable goalkeeper. You know, he's a silver goalkeeper. He'll do a job for you. The two centre-backs, we've got one of my favourite cards from last year round, Akpaguma. This guy in the Bundesliga, 6 for 4 has that massive sprint speed up, uh, upgrade, which is great to see. Defending stats are solid as ever. He's got the strength to his game. He is going to be an absolute brick wall at the back alongside a Nigerian playing in the Scottish League. It is Leon Balogun. Six foot three, very similar in regards to the fact that he has sprint speed and good defending stats. The acceleration lets him down a little bit, but look at that strength. This man is going to be a bruiser. These two, six foot three and six foot four, when do they get going? When do they get up to their full speed? It's a scary four. Playing right back, we got a chap here purely for chemistry again. He plays for the same team as Cisse. It is Tosin. He's a 68 overall right mid, playing right back with absolutely no defensive game to his uh, his card, which is going to be interesting. I hope he's going to be okay. He's got the pace, agility and balance. Uh, decent physical stats. We'll see how it goes. We do have options on the bench to bring on if need be, but we're going to rock him to start with. And let's get a little bit more detail about Mr. Cissé then. So this man got his team of the week card. He is playing in the Swiss League for FC Zurich. Only two star, two star left footed. Medium, medium, six foot two, so he's got a bit of height about him. I've got to give him the Hunter Kem style just to boost up the pace and the shooting as much as possible. I want him to be absolutely lethal. I'm going to play him as a right forward. You'll see how we line up shortly. I want him cutting in on that right, kind of more inverted, kind of in that centre forward role and bagging goals with his left foot. So the Nigerian boys have been given a sick little silver setup. These three midfielders have some potential to be the best throughout the whole damn year. We got the likes of Atibo, you would have seen in previous squad builders I've done. You see him pretty much everywhere because he gets the hyperlink into Dennis up top. But these two boys here, all right, we need to give him a bit of credit. We'll start off with Joel Obi. I remember him playing for Inter Milan back in the day. Shout out to you boys if you do remember that as well. Hi, hi, work rates, three star, three star, five foot ten. And his card is incredible. The pace is there, dribbling is fantastic. He offers so much. He's pretty much the Wakaso of last year, reincarnated this year. Physical and defending stats are pretty consistent. He has a decent bit of short pass and vision. Even offers a little bit going forward. May not be super reliable in front of goal. And he also has the flair trait. Now this man I'm insanely excited to try. A Rebo, he gets that hyperlink into Balogun in defense. High, high, four star, three star, six foot left footed. All of that sounds incredible. The pace is there. Yes, passing looks great. Dribbling same with Joel Obi looks brilliant. He's got the stamina, a little bit defensively and physically. 
and player traits. We've also got the flair and a couple of CPU AI traits. Now this man, I have a feeling, is gonna be crap. And Atebo is the glue holding that midfield together. He's the most defensive out of all of them. Brilliant defending and physical stats on the card. Also decent dribbling. Doesn't offer a lot going forward apart from the shot power. So he may try a couple of 40 yarders with the boy. And he's also got a bit of pace about him. But most importantly with this chap, the hybrid opportunities. Get these two in your club. Making a silver squad is going to be so much fun, guys. He gets a hyperlink into Emmanuel Dennis. Four star, three star. 2.6k I picked him up for. I pretty much got him on the second day the game came out on WebUp. I knew this man would be expensive. What is his price actually as it stands? Let's have a little cheeky gander. Yeah, he's, he's skyrocketed a little bit. About 7k as it stands, cheapest by now. So we'll take that. Happy days. Very nice card. Very clinical. Very quick. Decent dribbling. Uh, and he's got the Premier League. That's pretty much it. You get the Premier League premium with the man. No really decent shooting trace, unfortunately. But trust me, he is a baller. So as I said, if you want to get full chemistry with this team, you can get a couple of Nigerian boys by the name of Aina and Osea Samu. These guys are insane as well. They literally slot in perfectly here. If you don't want to splash out on Cissé, they are very affordable and get you up to 100 chemistry. Ola Aina... Uh, absolute baller. Played for Fulham last year. I'm not sure if he's on loan at Torino or if he's originally a Torino player. But just look at the stats. He's cracked out. And then Asaya Samuel has pace coming out of his eyebrows. Three star, three star. Yeah, absolute baller. Custom tactics. We're keeping it pretty simple. We've got balance 40 50, balance forward runs, 40 whips, seven players in the box. We're going to do two corners, two free kicks. Formation to 4 3 2 1. As I said, Cissé on the right. I want him cutting in on that left foot. Dennis as the out and out striker. Sudamana on the left. Atebo, Obi and Aribo in the midfield and then the back four stays the same. So as we've got the new Silver Lounge game mode, it would be rude not to dabble, wouldn't it boys? I've obviously got the new card as it stands, but this is where silvers can shine. So I'm going to dive into this, truly test out CC. We get a game instantly. I'm on new Jane console and the Silver Lounge is popping. You love to see it. What are we up against first time around? 100 chemistry. It's a Belgian Pro League slash Swiss League, is that? I couldn't quite catch the left-hand side, but let's do this, boys. Start strong, test out Cissé, have a bit of fun with it. The sad reality of Silver Lounge, guys, not everybody is here for the fun. They see your team, they see you got the card, and they leave straight away. It's an issue I've had throughout the whole last year of recording these kind of Silver Squad Builders slash uh, player reviews. But it's fine, we keep on moving. Hopefully my next opponent fancies a little game or two. What are we saying? Yes, he's got Sulemana, my man. Sick-looking team, Silver Serie A squad. This should be a sweaty one. Let's get it, boys. And he's quit. We go again. Third time lucky, guys. Third time lucky. What are we saying? Who are we up against for the boys? It is a 89 chemistry. French Serie A hybrid. Some Russian League boys down the bottom right. Is this the man who's going to give me a game? I hope so. Come on, then, Camel Dean Sulemana. Use that pace, my bro. Little one inside. Lovely stuff. Spread the player, Tebow. We want to get Cissé involved. This is my first time using the Inform, and I love to give like a decent play of your majority of the Silver Informs throughout the year. So we're going to truly test him out. Nice little overlap. Take that down. He's got like the Silas uh, of FIFA 21 first touch. You know where they got the really long legs, and it just looks like he's never really in control of the ball, but he's just super hard to tackle. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting early doors. But positive signs. My opponent's a bit of a baller, though. We've got to watch out for him. His squad's not anything to shout about, but... It doesn't matter as long as you're good at the game. So guys, how are you finding Silverland so far? How was your experience unlocking the first Silver Star? Did you have fun? Was it sweaty? Because mine was damn sweaty, I tell you that. And so far, this game has been not the biggest walk in the park, but a rebo. Cissé, turn in, finesse that. Not a bad effort. Also guys, apologies if I look like I'm trying to imitate Nick Merckx when I'm playing at the moment. I'm still waiting for my tripod to arrive for my camera. So... Yeah, it's kind of quite high up at the moment, but I'll make it work. Trust me, I'll try and be conscious with it. But whip this in, Dennis. C says back post. Make that, mate. <sighs> Not quite. Yeah, I'm very much playing like this as it stands. Pretty much just see my eyes and my forehead, especially when I'm sweating out foot chaps today, boys. All right, surely we've got some big lads in there. Leap like a salmon, one of your Balogun. Coming in back post. Oh, beautiful. I love that goal. Dennis gets the finish. It was point back range. Honestly, it would have been harder to miss from there. But just the way it came off the bar, bounced over the line, beautiful scenes, the Africa boys are 1-0 up. Africa. Gomu, lovely. Come on now, boys, let's get that second, get the lead that we need. A Rebo picks him out. Lovely bit of play. Tabo just couldn't get out of his feet. Come on, sir. Take the corner. 
We've got some big boys in here. Come on now, what are you? Like a salmon, Cissé. So 1-0 up at half-time. Feeling good. Nice little goal from Dennis. We've had a few chances. Probably should be more than one. But we're going to keep battling. I'm loving the Nigerian trio in the middle. They are so well-rounded. Obi, Aribo and Atibo. Go on then, Camel Dean. Use that pace. Dennis on the overlap. Let's keep going, lads. Blitz them. We've got boys joining the force. Joel Obi. Cissé. Low driven. Big block last second. Fuming. I need the goal with Cissé. We need the debut goal for the man. We're going to get it, boys. This right mid playing right back is putting in a stint. It's mainly the pace that's carried him through it. But you'll have to see it. Oh, what a ball from Aribo. Cissé had... What? Dennis? Fair play, mate. Imagine that got him, boys. I don't know how Cissé's missed that one. Lovely ball from Aribo. The man is creating opportunities. What well done, meant, sir. Is that a lot of space? Sulemana, make that one more. Battle. we got boys in the middle. Big whip in for Cissé. That post, how has the keeper saved it? This man just can't get his debut goal. Are we on side? Cissé. The roulette. Oh, he's at the bar. It's just not meant to be, boys. That would be the quality goal from the man. He's doing everything right. He just cannot find the back of the net. It's looking like a 1-0 win. My opponent is absolutely swinging for me now. Cissé, there it is. He's only gonna done it. We're gonna gloat the celebration. My opponent's going for the jugular. Every single time they get the ball, he's trying to nail me. But the boy gets his debut goal. Cissé, stepping up, repping the silver in forms. Don't know what these floating red squares above all my fans in the crowd is all about. But we take that, boys. Leaps high, two headers and 2-0. So game number two, what are we saying this time round? My man's got Sulemana. Is that a Bundesliga? Is that a Bundesliga 1 or Bundesliga 2 hybrid? I respect it. Little League 1 action in there. This man's probably a bit of a baller. So let's see if we have a tough game on our hands. Oh, a lovely bit of play. We've got men in, men in the middle, but I don't know what that ball is. Get a Rebo involved. Into Dennis in the middle. One more. A table low driven. There it is, boys. We worked that perfectly on the edge of the box. I don't know what that first initial cross was. We pinged it to the other side of the pitch. We kept the composure. Aribo, Dennis, a table gets the goal. And Bussy 31, that could be a 1 0 rage quit. It is, boys. Let's go. Game number three. What are we saying? Another mad looking team. This guy's put some thought into his squad. I saw some super sweaty cards here. Adeyemi, for example, he's got Sulemana. Uh, the Klunter, I believe it is. The 86 pace silver centre-back. Juarez, this guy's been a baller for years. Gets the strong link into Sulemana. It's going to be a tricky game, boys. Oh, he might be in trouble. We're never in trouble. Balogun's there. Carrot attack is on now, boys. we got Cissé with the pace. Get a good touch here, lad. Lovely. Lovely bit of play. One more. Camaldine! There it is. 1-0 to the boys. We worked that great. Is this another 1-0 rage crit? Chop it 16 thunder. Are we getting another one in the bag? 3 for 3 so far. Great goal as well. Cissé's initial run over the top into Dennis, into Sulemana, into the W. So game number four. Can we end it off with a bang? A full Premier League silver squad. Gahey, Pinnock, Eddie and Ketia, the Arsenal boy. Let's see what we're working with. Come on now, boys. Can we make it 4-4 four four in this one? The Olma Africa Silver Squad Builder, the absolute ballers. Big from Balogun, big. Dennis might be in here. It's an unreal last minute clearance. But Cissé's there again. Asan Cissé, lads. That is, that is all I need to say. Aribo and Cissé. Oh, beautiful. Low driven. In the back of the net. Dreaming. And are we going to make this 4 for 4? Yes, we are. The 1 0 rage quit for the boys. Cissé and Aribo link up there was beautiful. The man sold him a dream with a dummy. Drove into the box. Green time, low driven, bottom corner. 
So that is where we're going to end it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my ultimate African silver squad builder. The standout players for me. We're going to put Suleimana aside. He's obviously in that top tier bracket. But if I had to pick three boys... Cissé, undoubtedly quality. Fortunately, a lot of the games I got into, people ended up quitting before we even got to kick the ball. So it says six for two. It's a little unfortunate. But two fantastic goals for the man. Got the one goal in the rage quit in the last match. And then he leaped like a salmon for a header in the first game. The other standout boy, Aribo. Absolute baller. The pings he was playing. The man's passing stats are pretty decent. They're in the 70s. But either way, unreal. On a plate for Cissé and Dennis. Unfortunately, they couldn't finish. But this man as a box-to-box -box is incredible. Same with the other midfielders, Atebo and Obi. Atebo even got himself a goal. You love to see it. The man stepping up from the midfield. Basically, the Nigerian Silvers guys are the way to go this year. Defensively, we were pretty damn solid. The two centre-backs were class. Balogun and Apagomu, both brick walls. Our right mid at right back actually was a pretty damn solid. It was mainly the pace and the dribbling that helped to kind of beat uh, a lot of the silver cards, but he's up against Suleimana a couple of times and stopped him in his tracks. At left back, no issues as well. Mensa was great. In all honesty, you could put a chem style on these boys just to boost up their pace and uh, maybe their defending. But overall, the team will get on 100 chemistry as well once you get loyalty on these players. For example, Cissé will go up to 7, Obi up to 7 as well, and all these boys at the back here will go from 9 till 10. So you can get 100 chemistry with these boys, you just got to play 10 games first. But as I said at the start, guys, if you do want 100 chemistry straight away and you don't want to splash out on Cissé, I would recommend doing it, by the way. He's incredible. Probably one of my favourite cards I've used so far is there's no other player like him in the silver bracket. You can get Asaya Samuel and Ola Aina in there. But anyway, guys, I'd be more so if you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know the best silver cards you've used so far. I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy.